It's time to hear from the family. And Deco Ali is the oldest daughter, 26, a nurse technician at Mayo. And uh, her, her mom, and all of her siblings will be moving into this house. Deco, there was a lot of work that went into this. And I know your family had to uh, do some of that work. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, tell me, when you found out that your application, your family's application was chosen, that must have been really exciting. It was. Oh my God, I cannot explain a word. It was like a joy and a tear at the same time. So that was the greatest thing. It has been so our life. 2019, I remember. Where did you move here from? How long ago? Um, 2012, we moved to Rochester because I have a brother who has a special needs. Uh, we came from Mayo Clinic and it was a blessing time. Rochester has opened us a lot of doors to be honest. <laughs> so your experience here then has been good? Really good, really good. I cannot explain it. Um, I, I graduated Mayo High School and then I went to college and then now I'm in the U of, U of M here in Rochester, UMR. So yeah, Aww. great, exciting. And we're a big family, um, single mom. My mom's single mom with like eight younger siblings and I'm the oldest. So we couldn't find a home in Rochester. It was very hard for us. It is hard for any family yeah. Deco, to yeah. find a home in Rochester because mm -hmm. there aren't many to be had. Right. Um, when you had the conversations with your mom mm -hmm. about even filling out an application, that's a hard process too. Walk me through some of that. So what we did was like um, big family, yeah, apartment will not going to take us. House. Were you in an apartment? <laughs> uh, yeah, before we were in an apartment, like three bedrooms and so much, so many, so many of us, <laughs> we couldn't even like make it. And then we find a house barely uh, closer to the southeast and four bedrooms, but it couldn't fit us. It's, it's still the space was so small. And then we find Habitat has helped a lot of family and then we apply applications, but they require so many things and we couldn't meet that requirements that time because I wasn't like 18 that time. And then um, I wasn't making that much income. There's an income requirement. And then we all worked and some of my siblings turned 18 and we find it and we work so hard. And then we apply a couple years later and then the third year they accept us. <laughs> What country are you originally from? We're from Kenya. Okay, yeah. so this has to be pretty overwhelming for your mom because you were younger when you moved here, mm -hmm. your mother being from a foreign country, everything's so new, the language barrier, the application process and everything. Can you explain her emotion? Oh my gosh, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, my mom, oh my God, she's very strong. I don't know how she did it. When I turned 18, um, being oldest, I have to take like a lot of responsibility. And uh, literally as a young age, I used to like um, babysit the, the younger ones when she's at work, 12 hour shift. And then I have to work when she come home. And then we used to switch times. And I feel like it was like a family putting everything like put together and everyone worked together. Like I feel like that that's what makes like a, this whole thing like a, like everyone contribute their little things makes the best, I think. Yeah. yeah. And you know, in the news, mm -hmm. sadly, there's <laughs> a, just a lot of negative and racial issues. And there's a lot of uh, disdain mm -hmm. for this country. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like where you're coming from. You, you must have a, a place in your heart, some gratitude that is hard to put into words. Yeah, it is like literally you have to find out everything and then you have to work hard, 10 times hard <laughs> to find out the resources that's available and then find out uh, the people that you know and all that and literally like um, I, I, will, I will say Rochester is a place yeah, like a uh, heart to the uh, many people in their heart and it is like blessing place and yeah finding those people's like and then finding the resources it was very grateful and a lot of people helped yeah I'm very happy for you Thank and you I can, so much. and I can hear that uh, yeah. emotion um, yeah literally like I cannot explain today a word and hopefully um, I'm one day I'm thinking like becoming a nurse and then contribute and making like another family or someone else their life different yeah. Because of this experience? This experience. And then I also volunteer at other houses before that. And then I will also volunteer at other houses too. My time's off too. Sweetheart, you are an yeah. inspiration. You really are. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yeah.